Okay, so in this question, they've given us the area, and this is a sector. They want us to find the value of theta. Now, how do we get to find the value of, of, of theta when given the area? Here, the first thing, before you even start thinking about doing the calculations, just write the formula. So the formula for finding area of a sector is theta over 360 degrees times pi r squared. This is a formula. And this is what must be coming in your mind. So now, upon getting to know the, the area or the formula for finding area, we need to gather our data. Remember, area we've been given. It's right here. So let me write it here. It's a 25 remainder 2 over 3. Okay? Now, we can't work with it the way it looks. It's a mixed fraction. Working with mixed fractions in mathematics is something that is very frustrating and doesn't work out. So what you need to do here is to change this to improper fraction. So it will be 77 over 3. You just multiply 3 by 25 and then plus it, plus, uh, plus 2. It will give us a 77 over a 3. So where area is, we're going to write 77 over a 3, which is equal to, do we have theta? Do we have theta? We don't have theta. It's what we are looking for. So we're going to write theta over 360 degrees times the, 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 the pi here we've been given. It's 22 over 7 times... The radius, it's 7 uh, squared. Remember, there are 7 centimeters this side. So radius is 7 uh, squared, which is the same as 7 times 7. Okay. So now this is paper 1. And in paper 1, you're not allowed to use a calculator. So you need to be very, very careful with what you're doing. Look at this. I'm going to say 7 into 7, it's 1. Since it's multiplication, 7 into 7, it's a 1. You see, 2 into 22, it will give me 11. You see, and then 2 into uh, 360, it will definitely give me 180. So you see what we have? Let's clean up. We have, uh, we have a, a 77, this side. We can write 77 over a 3 is equal to uh, 11. Actually, let's do this. Let's clean it up. So we have uh, 11 times 1 times 7. That will give us uh, 77. Times theta, it will give us 77 theta. Over 180 degrees. Because 180 degrees times 1, it will just give us the same. 180. So at this point, since we are solving for this theta, we can either divide by the same, or if you want, you just say, we cross multiply. So this times this, it will be 77 times 180 degrees over 3 times 77. So 3 times 77 is equal to theta. We just remain with the theta here, of which uh, 77 into 77, it's a 1. Here, it will give us a 1. 3 into 3, 1. Into 180, it's a 60 degrees. So, the value of theta is a 60 degrees. Remember, this is one of the key topics in paper 1, mensuration. You are always going to be asked a question of this nature, where you need to find either area or angle or radius so in this case they gave us area and they want us to find the value of theta and this these are the steps that you need to or which you need to follow if you really need more help you can uh, call or whatsapp this number right over here so this is the number you can get in touch with us for more more help remember those people are preparing for gce or ecz internal Get in touch with us so that we guide you and help on what you need to be studying.
Thank you and bye-bye.